Hello again to a new tutorial from Aroha Media. In this tutorial, we learn how to make a character side run cycle in Flash. Run cycle is an animation which keeps repeating as if being played in continuous loop. Once it's done, we can repeat it as many times as we need. We'll not be manipulating each key but using motion twin. This will make our animation slightly easier. First thing we are going to do is start with a simple character in a new flash file. Save that file and name it character run cycle side angle. Scale down the character on the stage as seen in the video. Enter inside the main symbol. Every symbol of the body has to properly be matched, keeping the run pose in mind. Not only the right hand, but also move the left hand. Switch on the outline mode to pick the hidden left hand. We need a ground plane for the running character. So, add a new layer, name it ground level and draw a simple straight line as seen in the video. This will also keep the foot placement always correct and will not go off the ground. And the weight of the character will also rely on this ground level. Coming back, 
we again edit the first pose. Normally, while running, we close the fists of both the hands. So, we need to draw the fists inside the hand symbols. Use the pencil Okay, here we are ready with outline drawing of the right fist. Now, pick the same skin color and fill it in the new drawing. We don't need the previous hand position anymore, so delete it. Check and edit each part using the subselection tool. Now we are finished with all the changes. This is our final first pose. Now move to the timeline. Before starting with the second pose of the run, decide and extend the frames for the full animation. We choose to extend up to frame 17. So select all the 17th frames of all the layers and press F6. This will directly create new keyframes on the 17th frames and these are supposed to be the last keyframes of the animation. So, the same first pose will be placed on the last keyframe. Select and insert the keyframes on the 9th frames of all the layers. First and last keyframe pose is same. So, the poses on keyframe 1 and keyframe 17 will be the same. So, on the 9th frames, we'll create the second pose of the run cycle. Select all three pieces of the right hand and rotate them in front. To select the left hand parts, put all the layers in outline mode. It will help us selecting the hidden parts. Move the pivot point to the shoulder point and rotate it backwards as seen in the video. Keep playing the animation and edit the movement as
So, for now, our first and second poses are completely ready with us. Now, we need some passing key positions for the run cycle animation. So, on the fifth frame, insert keyframes on all the layers. Lock the ground level so that we don't accidentally edit them. Grab the whole character and shift it down. And we are now starting with the new middle pose at frame number 5. Legs are the only bit tricky parts. On this frame, one of the Switch on the outline mode while matching the hiding parts. This is the pose where the whole body is putting its weight on the ground. Relative to that, we'll move the head portion a little downwards. Then again, select the full upper body along with the head and shift it slightly down. Edit and arrange the individual parts as per the pose. Keep playing to find out what changes are required. Both the hands need some changes here. Don't forget to place the pivot point of the hands to the shoulder joint. Final pose on all the 5th frames. Now it's time to create the middle pose between the 9th and 17th frames, which will be on the 13th frame. Like the 9th frame pose is a mirror of the first and last pose, similarly, the pose on the 13th frame will be a mirror of the pose on the 5th frame. Keeping this in mind, copy all the similar and reference pose positions from 5th to the 13th frame. Select the frames to be copied and hold Note that the full upper body part was reused. We only need the changes in the lower part.
play and check the animation. Okay, on the 13th frame, we notice that the fold created here is more than needed. So, we'll have to edit that inside the symbol. Go inside that symbol and extend the frame till 17. That's our full animation length. Insert a keyframe on frame 13 where we need to remove the extra fold. Right click on that layer and click on Synchronize Symbols. Now it will follow the frame sequence inside that symbol. See the change? Look at frame number 17. We need some drawing changes here as well. Step inside the same symbol and copy the first keyframe on the 17th frame. Now it looks perfect. Even outside, we have used the same first keys for the 17th frames. No more changes in the poses. It's time to apply Motion Twin. Select all the frames of all the layers except the ground layer and assign Motion Twin from the Properties panel. Play the running movement. During the motion you will notice some unwanted, unmatched cuts are created. We have to fix them. Let's start with the character's left leg. On frame 5, switch on the outline mode and you see the calf portion is not Keep playing the animation to see our progress so far.
a run animation on the main stage area. We notice some missed cuts here. Enter the main animation symbol and zoom on the right shoe area. On some frames, shoes should be touching the ground level. So, we need to add some drawing part in the shoe symbol. Add the shoe symbol and extend the frames till frame 17. Insert the keyframes at 6 and 7 where you need to change the drawing. Now, start the changes on 6. On this frame, Exit the symbol and firstly select the whole layer of that shoe. Right click and click Synchronize Symbols to follow the frame numbers same as inside. Now, on the same frame number, we need to edit the lower part of the character's pants according to the shoe portion. Please follow the video carefully to make these changes. Skew and match the calf area. So, time to change the drawing in that shoe symbol too. Extend the frames up to frames. nice symbols for that shoe layer too. Exit to the main stage area. Character run cycle looks successful. The only stuff that should not be steady and stiff while running is hair. Keep double clicking to the head to reach the hair symbol. Before that, extend all the frames till frame 17 in head symbol. This is a hair group. Break it as shape twin works directly on the drawing. Even here, extend the frames further than frame 17. Only the front wavy portion of the hair will get animated. Fill the same hair color, add
fill the same color and remove the unwanted line. So, in short, we have divided that wavy hair part in two more layers. Press F8 and make symbols of both the parts individually. Name the first part Hair 01 and the second part as Hair 02. Now, individually, we animate those parts inside their symbols. Enter the Airflow maintained, we are copying the same keys. Copy the first keys and place them on the ninth frame. Copy the fifth frame keys and paste them on the thirteenth frame. And at last, copy the first keyframes or the ninth keyframes and paste on the seventeenth frames. Apply shape twin to all the in between frames. Some white gaps are visible when we see the animation playing. Let's take the hair movement in the main symbol. Right click to synchronize symbol as we have added some animation inside the symbol. Now, inside the head symbol, delete that unwanted layer. And to remove the white gaps, start adding shape hints as seen in the video. For shape hint, Press Ctrl plus Shift plus H. We have added ABC hints on the outline layer and placed them exactly on its three nodes. Now, on the next key, place the ABC hints dot on their relative positions. Again, add ABC hints on fifth frame, place them and arrange the respective hints on the ninth frames. Arrange them to the nodes and arrange the respective hints on the 17th frame. Now, all the hints work is done for the outline layer. Now, hide that layer and repeat the same procedure for the color patch layer keys as seen in the video. Add three ABC shape hints on each key for the color patch and on the succeeding key, match those shape hints on their relative positions. When you play the animation, you will see now that the shape twinning is working properly without any gaps. Lock the outline layer while working on the color layer.
so all the hints are added to this hair portion keep both the layers in normal mode and check the animation do the same for hair 0 to symbol step inside that symbol extend the frame till frame 17 match the outline to the changed color patch shape please follow the on the 9th and 17th frames and copy the keys on frame 5 to the 13th frames apply shape twin between all the keys when you play the animation similarly you'll have to add the shape hints on each key and match their positions on the next keys as we have done earlier here too we'll need three hints a b and c for every key the shortcut for adding the hint Finally all the hints are added and well positioned check the hair movement in every symbol while exiting to the main run symbol
keep playing and check the hair movement even in scene 1, that is, on main stage area. Note that, working on small details gives us a better and bigger impact in the animation. Here you go. We are ready with a pretty good character side run cycle. It's really not that hard. What's nice about this is, once you have the run cycle animation, you can use this as a foundation for other character in so many different projects. So, hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial from Aroha Media. We'll be back with you soon with another animation tutorial. Thank you.